Hello everybody. Welcome to Word Shard. In the last class, we had already done the direct and the indirect speech, the first part of it. So we will revise few of the sentences to check whether the chapter is clear to us or not. Let us see the first sentence. What is it? Amit said to me, "I will go to school." We will put down words as it is and the way it is changing in the indirect form okay first word is amit so will the word amit change when it is being changed to indirect speech no so amit will remain the same next word said to okay the whole thing you can either write it like that only said to or you can write told over here replacing said to you can write told so amit told me me will also remain the same okay we will remove these two comma and the quotations so we will remove it and what we will write we will write that over here isn't it last class we had done we will write that over here after you have written that we will move to the next word i who is i over here i is amit why amit because amit is talking when you are talking how will you talk you will say i am going to school i am drinking water it will become i because you are talking about yourself so i is amit over here so amit told me that he will will change to what it will change to would in the last class we had done he would go to school this part will remain the same so how are we changing the sentence into indirect form amit told me that he would go to school full stop quotations will be removed in the indirect form one more thing that i forgot to mention in the last class that is when you are writing a letter or a word okay after the quotation you write it in the capital letters okay if i am writing ramesh after the quotes after the open quotes then the r will be capital if i am writing anything if i am writing the after the quotes i am writing the the day is hot so the will be capital letter t will be capital okay but when we are changing it to indirect then it will become small letters because the quotations we are removing the quotes so the word in capital letter would be changed to small letters okay we'll move to the second one the boy said to his mother i will i always do my homework so how will we change it let's try the boy this one will not change for sure said to make it told his mother this part will remain the same so his mother the boy this part is remaining the same said to we are changing to what told so the boy told his mother remove these two comma and quotes place that in the place so that who is i i is the boy okay so the boy told his mother that he always what will become it how will you change this word do it will remain does it will remain in the present tense why will it remain in the present tense because this word is used this word always always means habitual truth normally you do your homework on your own okay so usually you do it it is a common thing it is a habit of yours so it is a habitual truth so it will not change its tense so as we are changing it to he as i is changing to he therefore we will just change the form but the tense will remain the same it will be in the present simple present form of it so the boy told his mother that he always does and my will change to his because it is talking about himself so the boy told his mother that he always does his homework then we'll move to the third one rama told his son rama will not change and it is given told so no need of changing it his son will also remain the same the whole thing remains the same over here first thing that changes is this too what will you write here that rama told his son that who is i rama that he how will you change am going is it a habitual truth or universal truth no so you will have to change it into past tense because the reporting verb is in past tense isn't it so you change it i will change to he i is who is this i this i is rama isn't it i is rama so rama told his son that he am going will change to what was going because you are changing it from present continuous to past continuous he was going to office 
How will you change now? You remember the table I gave you last day? Now we'll change to then. So Rama told his son that he was going to office then. Okay. We'll come to the fourth sentence now. I told my sister. This will remain the same. Okay. Reporting verb is in what? Past tense. So how will you change it? I told my sister that what is you? Who is you? I told my sister that you. You means the sister, isn't it? So I told my sister that she, she's a female. So she are being rude. This one is what? Present continuous. So you will write she was being rude to, this one will remain me. Why? This me is I, myself. I'm talking about myself only. So me will remain to me. Okay. Next, number five, Madhav said, this one will remain the same. I, this one, this quotation and this thing will change to that. Madhav said that, who is I? I is Madhav. So he, Madhav said that he, how will you change have not brought? This is present perfect. So you change to past perfect. So Madhav said that he had not brought, my pen will change to what? My pen is his pen. Today will change to that day done so over here we do not see any sentence which has a reporting verb in the present or in the future tense so all the tenses change except the sentence where we are talking about always where we are talking about always it will not change because it is the habitual truth otherwise we are changing it okay now this one is the revision part now we'll move to the new portion direct and indirect speech day two what do we do here? We will be doing the interrogative sentences. What are interrogative sentences? Interrogative sentences are the ones which end with a question mark. Okay, this is a little bit difficult. Let's see the first example. Direct. He said to me, in the direct form we are writing now, you know, he said to me, what are you doing? Number two, he said to Kavita, is your mother in the office? What is this? This is a question, isn't it? Over here also there is a question. Over here also there is a question mark inside the quotes. So it is interrogative sentence. Okay, these are the two examples as to how you write an interrogative sentence in a direct speech. Just an example, how to write it. We will do the same thing, write in the same manner as we have written the simple sentences. Only we will put a question mark over here in the direct form. Okay, now is the question that how you will change the direct into indirect. Let's see. See, here is a picture. See the words carefully. First word, where. Second word, what. Why. How. When. Who. See, in all these words, we have two letters common. What are those letters? WH. 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 And WH also. H and W. Isn't it? So, in all the words, we have two letters common. That is WH. Okay, so if the quotations after the open quotes, if the word used is any of these, okay, that is WH question. If I start a interrogative sentence, direct speech with any of these words, for example, let's see example one. See this one. He said to me, we are, we are starting our first word after the quotation. How? We are using these words, isn't it? WH question. This is called a WH question. If you start after the quotes, if you use a word which is a WH question, which means what, where, why, when, how, all these words. If you start the question with that, what are you doing? How are you? Okay. Where are you going? Uh, maybe uh, how is your health? Okay. Why are you crying? Who are you? These are all WH questions. If this is the case, there are two cases only in interrogative speech. Two things you'll have to remember. That is the this word can be a WH question, okay? But in the second form, you see, this is not a WH question, isn't it? The first one is a WH question, but the second one is not starting with a WH question, isn't it? So how will you change these two things into indirect speech? Let's see. See, when you change an interrogative, sent, interrogative direct speech into indirect, which means that when you are changing a an interrogative direct speech into an indirect one, we do not use that. Normally, how you would do it? You would just remove the comma and the open quotes. In the place of that, you would write that in the simple sentences. But here, you will not use that. Do not. Okay. First point, have to remember. Very important. Second point is what? 
when the question is not introduced by an interrogative word like we were seeing in the example if the question does not start with words like wh that is what are you doing how are uh, how are you why are you here all these questions then you will you will not use that first case and secondly you will use wh eth here whether or if in the place of that where you use that in the place of that you will use whether or if when will you use let's see these two examples please try when in which case will you use wh uh, which case you will use whether or if in the place of that over here where you will use it you will use that in the second case why because it does not start with a wh question if it starts with a wh question then neither will you use that nor will you use if whether nothing directly you will come to the point he said to me that is you will obviously change this to what asked because this is interrogative you are asking something so he when you are changing it to indirect just make it he asked me what i was doing okay first case is very easy next one we'll move to new examples you'll be understanding it better let's follow these examples check example 1 what is it he said to me what are you doing what is the question he is telling me that what you are doing so what is this word this word is wh question isn't it so should we use that no over here we should not use that should we use if or whether no we will not use that because it is starting with wh question okay then how you will change it directly change this word this said to into asked he asked me next this part is clear we will not use that over here in this place removing the comma and the quotes no use of that no use of if or whether directly you put the word over here he asked me what then are you doing who is this i who is this you this you is the the me over here isn't it he is asking me so this you is obviously me that is why it will be i and tense is what simple present tense so it will become simple present continuous tense so it will become past continuous tense this was present continuous see are doing that is why it will be changed to past continuous which is was doing clear we will move to as you move to the next example it will be clearer see the next example where do you live the question part is given in the beginning doesn't matter it is the same thing ask the stranger so directly asked word is given so you change it the stranger asked very easy you can also use inquired you can use asked anything same thing the stranger asked or inquired anything you write where obviously wh question so you will not use that you will not use if or whether directly you put the word where then do you live the, the stranger is asking somebody it can be me also it can be anybody it is not mentioned so you can write i here you can write him here you can write her here okay so where he i you whatever okay you cannot write you but you can write him her i anything lived why lived because it is present simple present tense you are changing it into simple past tense clear next example 3 he said will now see this word this word is not a wh question so how will you change it he asked obviously because it is a question same thing this part is done then this word is added them he asked them will you listen to me you can add anything he asked him he asked uh, he asked me he asked her anything you can write here i have written them all the three things are correct he asked them this part is clear now whether i told you if it is not a wh question then you will have to use one word any one either if or whether so i have used whether you can write if also over here if you want then because i have written them over here this word will be they who is this you they if you have written him over here then whether he it will become whether he okay anything it is then will listen check these two words will listen so how will you change will listen it will become would listen clear past tense we are changing to past to such a man done now we will see some exercises i'll make this thing very clear again next day we will practice some interrogative sentences it will become clearer exercise 1 turn the following sentences into indirect speech see first let us see this part he said to her, although it is in the last in the end still we will have to write 
it in the first only when we are writing into indirect speech he said to her directly you write this he asked her said to will change to asked because you are asking question okay this is there is a question mark over here so he asked her then what you will write check the first word what this is what wh question that is why do not use if or whether so directly you say he asked her what then do you want then you can have you have to think who is this you who is this you he said to her no so you will be her only she is a woman so he asked her what do want will be do what do want what is this tense this is a present tense you change it into past so he asked her what did she want full stop you will have to remove this question mark if the question mark is there in the indirect form then you lose your mark okay second one sanjana told my dad change told to what to to asked sanjana asked my dad now this is not an interrogative question isn't it so you will have to put if over here so sanjana asked my dad if now my father who is my father my father is obviously sanjana's father sanjana is asking about her father so sanjana asked my dad if her father had met why had met because it is has met present perfect it will be changed to past perfect so if her father had met who is this you you is my dad so him okay it will be him over here next we'll move to number 3 he said how is this is what how is your father so how is an interrogative word so he asked no use of if or whether so directly we write he asked how is what will you write in in the place of is was because this is a present tense you change it to simple past so he asked how was my father you can write over here you can even write her father or his father anything okay because it is not mentioned he said to whom whom did he talk to we don't know whether she is a woman or she is a she is myself or she is somebody else or he is somebody else we don't know therefore you can write any word over here according to your choice you can write how was my father you can write how was his father you can write how was her father okay next question number 4 again we'll see the last portion he asked okay directly we will write he asked because asked word is already given he asked next r what is this word wh question no so he asked if who is this you you can again write anything he asked if i are coming is what present tense present continuous tense so you will write he asked if i was coming home with who is this me me is he himself isn't it he is talking about himself so with him clear number 5 he inquired again this part is given write directly write the word inquired he inquired wh question again okay so he inquired when do you intend this is simple present so when did he intend change this you word to he did he intend to pay who is this me to pay him okay you can again use anything any word here him her me when did he intend when did she intend when did i intend okay why because he is talking to whom we do not know that if you do not know that then you can write accordingly according to your choice okay that's done that is the interrogative portion next we'll move to a very easy part command and request in case of command and request we'll see one picture what is this the first picture get out of the room the gesture of this man look at his hand look at his face what does it tell you that he is commanding you you he is he is trying trying to tell you what you need to do he is ordering you so that can be a type of sentence another sentence can be when you are requesting something look at his face this face shows that she, that this person is requesting please forgive me you cannot order for forgiveness isn't it you cannot just say give me forgiveness just like very angrily you cannot say that you have to say words like please you have to say word like request to say to mean that you are actually pleading for something requesting for something so these two sentences how will you write it when it is given in the direct speech when you are told to change it to indirect speech how will you write that to change into indirect speech sorry change into indirect speech indirect speech we use the word to only this thing you remember where you will use the word to just before the quotes before the open quotes you will just remove the open quotes use the word to before the verb that becomes the infinitive just remember this much see the first one 
Rama said to Arjun, "Go away. This is what. This is an order." So Rama ordered. Just understand the meaning accordingly. Put the words. Rama ordered Arjun. We are using the word to. Where we will use this word? Just before this verb. Go is the verb. So Rama ordered Arjun to go away. Nothing else. Just stand. This much is very easy. Direct. Next one. He said to me, "Please wait here till I return." See what is this word? This word is please. This means it is a request. So directly you write requested. When you are changing the direct. to indirect in case of request you do not have to write this word please again because you have already written this word requested so erase the word please he requested him to wait there till he returned okay see which one is the verb over here wait just put the word to wait okay here will change to there from the table only we know there till he returned you'll change the tense return will change to the next past form return is the present form change it into simple past so return very easy third one he shouted directly use the word shouted only over here shouted what is the verb let me go so start the thing with to he shouted to them you can erase this word you may not write this part he shouted to let just start the verb with this to he shouted to let him go why will you change it to him because who is this me he is talking about himself maybe he is tied to the table or chair okay he has he is tied to that place so he is telling and shouting to the other people please let me be free so he is asking for himself only so this me is he himself so he he shouted to let him go next the fourth one he said be quiet and listen to my words this is also another order because normally we do not say be quiet we say please be quiet so that case we again write ordered he ordered them you can may not write this them he ordered to be quiet it is better to write them so that the person understands that whom you are telling it so he ordered them now directly you will use the word to before be so to be quiet and listen to his words clear very easy this portion is next change into indirect speech we will do the exercises those are the solved ones this one we will solve ourselves okay exercise 1 let's see what is given over here put the following into indirect speech okay first one bring me a drink of milk said the swami to the villagers what is this this can be a request the swami is talking to the villagers you can either take it as a request or an order okay let us take it as a request if it is a request then we can write the swami requested the villagers we will use which word before this to bring to bring who is this me me is swami so to bring him a drink of milk bas full stop that's it next the teacher said sit down boys if you write it directly so first we will solve this part the teacher is ordering the students to sit down this is very clear so the teacher ordered whom it is mentioned the boys the teacher ordered the boys now you add the two over here okay removing the quotes to sit down full stop done next halt means to stop okay the officer shouted to his men just change the the form of these words or change the place of these words and write the officer shouted to his men just directly put the word to in front and write to halt full stop change you will have to remove the exclamation marks okay you will have to remove the exclamation marks the question marks all these marks you'll have to remove when you are changing the direct into indirect again when you are doing the other way round when you are changing from indirect to direct then remember to put the exclamation mark or the question mark in the place okay next number 4 take off take off your hat the king said to the hatter so the king ordered the hatter where we will put the word to over here to take off whose hat his own hat so his hat clear number 5 run away children said their mother so their mother requested you can write it requested their mother requested whom it is mentioned she is talking to her children so their mother shouted their mother requested the children to run away just put the word to in front to run away then you put full stop okay next we will move to the last part of the uh, direct speech 
exclamations and wishes what is exclamation exclamation mark we all know this is the exclamation mark and wishes does not have a mark this is the face of exclamation isn't it when we are when we are exclaiming oh my goodness such a beautiful flower oh my god such a dirty book like this these are exclamations so if the sentence if in the direct speech we are given it given an exclamation sentence then how will you change it let's see in reporting exclamations and wishes the indirect speech is introduced by some verb excla expressing exclamation or wish we will start the word expressing what the person is feeling for for, uh, for example let us see the examples direct in the direct speech what is given he said so obviously this there is an exclamation mark so directly use the word he exclaimed we will be removing this mark from here so change the word to exclaimed he exclaimed now see see what is written alas i am undone undone so alas alas word means what you are sorry for something so sadly he exclaimed sadly that he was why why was because it is am it is simple present change it to simple past i am undone okay so i am undone will be was undone rest of it is same like the simple sentences okay you will use that over here after removing the quotes you will not use these words these exclamation words alas my goodness oh all these words you will not use when you are changing it into indirect speech directly you will write the word exclaimed first and then you can express the feelings how is he feeling from here only you will understand from these words alas Uh, i'm sorry or from all these words only you will understand then you directly put that word if you understand the feeling then you write it he exclaimed sadly if you do not understand directly write he exclaimed that he was under that is also correct example 2 alice said how clever i am okay how will you uh, change this let's see alice alice will not change how will you write said over here you will write said as exclaimed why exclaim because this exclamation mark is here exclaimed directly you write that over here in the place of after removing the quotes directly you write that how clever i am what is she expressing she is expressing oh my goodness how clever i am so you can directly write that she was very clever why was because this is simple present so you change to simple past done i think this part is clear we'll move to the exercise this is the last one and we'll finish off for today put the following in indirect speech okay we'll have to change it into indirect speech let's see the first one he angrily remarked okay you'll have to write this first so we are reading that part first so he angrily remarked directly write he angrily remarked now what did he remark what a stupid fellow you are what is this this is an exclamatory sentence so he angrily remarked that he who is this you okay he himself he can be himself or somebody else also you can write accordingly he angrily remarked that i was a very stupid fellow or you can directly write he angrily remarked she was a very stupid fellow you will write it in a simple form exclamatory form will be removed if you are changing the exclamatory form into a simple form into an assertive form then you will have to change the way it is written what a stupid fellow you are this is an exclamatory sentence to make it a simple sentence you will have to write he was a very stupid fellow okay second one he said my god i am ruined so this said will be changed to exclaimed he exclaimed sadly obviously he is ruined everything he has lost everything so he is sad he exclaimed sadly now my god you don't need to write this again because you have already said exclaimed sadly so again you do not have to write these words my god so he exclaimed sadly who is the i he himself that he am ruined is simple present isn't it so it will be changed to simple past was ruined okay now number 3 he said this one will be he exclaimed alas again he is sad so exclaimed sadly that use that over here who is this one our this one is his isn't it so he exclaimed sadly that his foes foes means enemies foes are too strong what is are simple present so it will be simple past were too strong full stop okay number 4 he said again he exclaimed what a lazy boy you are there are two parts 
this is a little bit difficult what a lazy boy you are so how do you write it he exclaimed that he was a very lazy boy why was because it is r simple present will change to simple past he was a lazy he was a very lazy boy how bad and next part also you add how will you add just write the word and and he have done this is have done so how will you change it he had done very badly in whose work in his work your work will change to his work i think this part is clear if you have any other problem in these sentences or any other a question from any other sentence how will you change it if you have any such problem then you can obviously ask in the comment section i hope you have liked my video if you have liked it please comment subscribe and also share to your friends so that they can also learn from here thank you so much